The Hudson River School. What is it? Well, the Hudson River is a river that runs through uh, New York. Uh, specifically, in this case, New York City is what we're talking about because of the many landscape painters that were painting at this time uh, due to Thomas Cole, who was um, the founder of this movement. So school, in the sense, does not refer to a physical building, but more or less the idea of this style of painting and uh, the medium used to it. So these paintings were mainly focused on these um, big and beautiful landscapes that you could see in some of Cole's works. Um, this is one of Niagara Falls, and this is one of some mountains. So, this is um, a rather important movement in America because it's one of the first real areas of artistic study that was founded in America, instead of um, ones that were just taken from European ideals. Um, it was very different to most uh, European styles, and that was one of the things that made it so American, was the way in which um, it showed such nature and showed the wildness of nature. So this connects in with nationalism, which is what I'm going to talk about. And to further my point on it, I'm going to um, use some examples from a painter that studied under Thomas Cole named Frederick Edwin Church. So he painted this call, uh, image called Our Banner in the Sky. So it shows some beautiful mountains in the background and some trees with um, an image of the American flag uh, in the sunset. It's very beautiful. Um, and it shows very well this connection between nationalism and taking pride in not only America, but in the land that is America. So this nationalism um, was seen in this. It was also combined with a healthy, healthy dose of romanticism. So this romanticism uh, is deeply connected to the sublime, which is kind of this feeling of awe and terror and astonishment that you see whenever you can look at these pieces. Uh, divinity connected eventually to uh, Manifest Destiny um, because it was seen as kind of this God-given terrain um, and that it was because of it being a gift from God that it was so important to go and seek out these areas, um, not only to paint but to kind of established as the own and being an individual with this. And also, of course, life in nature and the immense power that nature holds. Um, so in all of these paintings and all of these examples that we look at, you see such powerful images like mountains and big strong trees kind of showing um, images of what we kind of think of uh, as America, of these big and powerful things in many ways, um, kind of symbolic of how big and powerful America was to become. So this connects with uh, tran transcendentalism, which um, an American romantics that humans are innately good and that individuals themselves have um, power and it's not just connected to that. Um, and obviously, inspiration from nature because all of these paintings are of nature. However, there is an irony revealed in this, in Manifest Destiny and these paintings that are of landscapes, in that these paintings, in going out and seeking this land that was to be painted, what ended up happening is this, um, this area that was seen as God-given to European settlers, um, in going out and controlling this land that was seen so different from Europe in that it wasn't just um, having this like history and this deep and these beautiful architecture, um, was that it was wild and that it was new to this country. Um, and what ended up happening was as they moved out, some of this wilderness ended up dying, um, kind of made this little crude drawing of um, this tree and these mountains and this tree that may have been portrayed in a painting eventually being cut down into a little log cabin for someone um, to exist in. These landscapes, though they show the beauty of America, um, they also reveal the attitudes of the people looking at these paintings and that they saw America as this beautiful and wonderful place. However, in going out and creating these pieces, 
it may have destroyed some of that beauty that is forever memorialized in these beautiful paintings.